We turn now to sport, although at its best it defies that broad label and becomes about spirit and character. And yesterday that happened. It was a one-day cricket game, England against New Zealand. England 2-1 up in the best of five series. England batting first, making 335. If you're not a cricket fan, that's a heap. New Zealand chasing, uh, lost both of their openers for zero. If you're not a cricket fan, that's a disaster. And out came Ross Taylor, his body falling apart like a Christmas toy as Christmas Day wears on. The target so remote it was almost inconceivable and he made 181 not out, his highest ever one-day international score and somehow New Zealand got there bit by bit for one of the greatest one-day cricket victories seen in many years. First and foremost, you've got to try and get yourself in and um, get a partnership and, and try and give ourselves a chance of, um, of getting close to the target anyway. But uh, we were able to get um, a good partnership with Kane and then again with Tom Latham and, and then we got um, you know close to the target and and we're able to get across the line, which was good. But but did you have the audacity to think you could get even close at two for two, chasing, you know, well north of three hundred? I mean, did, did you, what were, what were you thinking about what was possible as you walked out? Um, I think you know if you look at if you look at it as soon as you get out there, two three hundred is is just too far away. You it, it's probably more daunting. I just thought my first goal was to try and get myself in, get to get some runs and then get to 10 overs and just get those little goals along the way. It wasn't until we got to about 200 that I even thought we had a chance of winning. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of hard work that goes in before that to, to get us into that position. And when you thought you had a chance of winning, does that change how you approach the innings? Does it perversely actually the pressure go on at that stage when you're in with a shot? Uh, probably a little bit. Um, but at the same time, you just got to try and trust that you're making the right decision at the right time. Um, I guess the, in hindsight, I think the injury probably, if anything, probably helped me out a little bit. And the fact that, um, you know, there's only, I was either had to go off for a tight hurt or just get, um, like, or try and hit boundaries and get the odd single. Um, so, um, <laughs> they were odd singles, weren't they? You weren't enjoying <laughs> running. <laughs> no, because well, the funny thing is, is, every now and then you would run a, a single and it wouldn't hurt, and then one would, and then the next time it would really hurt. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. You are a remarkable bugger. And, I mean, I, I, I think of all the things we understand about you. Uh, clearly everyone who loves the game of cricket knows you're a brilliant cricketer. But I think what people are only just getting to grips with is how tenacious and singular you are as a character. You are, in your own quiet, understated way, tough, aren't you? Um, well, I suppose probably my upbringing and... The way I was raised, and coming from a little town, uh, you got to you got to be pretty strong character, pretty resilient, um, and and that, and the family had a big part to play in that. Um, and coming from us, and uh, we we uh, anyone gets too big for the boots, they they get knocked down pretty quickly. So um, you know, it's a trait that uh, you know I would like to be, you know, continue to improve on and continue to do it but um, at the end of the day it's just who I am and um, and just being authentic to myself I guess Resilient, that's the word isn't it? It's a beautiful word it's a great quality and it's a it's a, it's a role model quality isn't it in sports people the ability to overcome and to keep on keeping on Yeah I, I guess as a professional sportsman you do have a lot of ups and downs whether it's in performance or whether it's an injury um, you know, there's a lot of other things that can affect you um, on what's going on uh, outside of uh, cricket as well. So, um, you know, the more you, how you deal with those situations and if you come up with them again, um, hopefully you've learned from it and can be a better cricketer and a better person for it as well. You talked about your upbringing in Masterton, and I know we've discussed this before, but I'm absolutely fascinated about your time at Wider Upper College and when you were playing cricket there, what you were dreaming of. Did you ever dream of anything as wonderful as this? No, I think I would have been happy if I played one test match, one ODI. I think um, you know, I just wanted to play for New Zealand, play for Central District, so were my big goals um, growing up. Um, I had my posters of all um, Vittori and Astor and Fleming and, <laughs> um, on the wall uh, growing up and was lucky enough to play with them all as well. So, um, no, I never never dreamt that I would have um, half the career that I've had to date. But um, in saying that, 
Uh, I'm proud of what I've achieved and hopefully I can achieve a lot more over the next few years. Yeah, I love the, the, the use of the words to date. I mean, you're still a work in progress, aren't you? 17 test centuries, 19 one-day internationals, averages in the late 40s in, in both forms of the game and you are still playing and you look at least as good as you've ever looked. Yeah, um, I think, if anything, the, the ideal scenario for any professional athlete is to go out um, on their own terms and, and at the top of their game. And um, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit older. Um, <laughs> 30, 34 is my birthday today. Yeah, happy and, birthday! And um, you know, every time I wake up in the morning, it's just a little bit slower. So um, I, um, the oh, sorry. Oh, thank thank you. you, thank you. Sorry, just getting people um, shaking my hand. Um, I bet you. you are. What's What's that feel like? I mean, the, thank and, you. Thank and, you. And, were, were you doing selfies, Ross? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, obviously, they don't know I'm doing an interview. <laughs> That's all right, bro. It's <laughs> they nice. probably think I'm just talking to my wife. Where are you now? You're at Dunedin Airport. Where are you? Yeah, you, I feel about the board. So yeah, I, could, I, 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 I had that sense. That, that, uh, and you're going to Christchurch. Have you got any chance of playing on Saturday? Is that a bloody cruel question to ask you? Uh, no, I think I've got a little little chance. Um, but I'll find out more over the next little while. But um, I'll try my best and um, recover as well as I can and give myself the best chance to help the team and contribute to a series one.